Hello, this is your board report for November 2015. The Capital Region 113 Board of Directors met for their regularly scheduled meeting just this past week. We had our pretty much standard agenda, but uh, with a slight addition of a report related to our strategic plan, a discussion of our fiscal year end report, and a little bit of review of how our board can gather feedback from our region about the services that ESD provides. After the consent agenda was approved and our regular meeting agenda was adopted, the board recognized members of the Capital Region Information and Services Center staff for exemplary service provided to the region. That includes the folks that provide fiscal, student records, human resource, technology support, and print media support, all under the supervision of Stephanie Griffiths and her, her department. Uh, congratulations team, you do an amazing job providing services to our region. We're very proud of the work that you do and uh, for many of the folks in our service area, you are the face of the Capital Region. So thank you again for your great work and for outstanding service. In terms of reports to the board, there are two things to note. The first was a report by Jody Petrovich regarding Goal 2. I know you all know our strategic plan, at least the high levels, uh, by heart. Close the gap, grow our people, and influence change. In our second goal area, grow our people, we have three strategies that we're focusing in on. The first is implementing a new model for performance feedback. We call it the PDP. It's a growth-focused model that involves goal setting, support for staff, and feedback through a new set of rubrics and uh, competencies that have been developed over the last few years. We're still continuing to refine that instrument and provide support to folks implementing it in our first full operational use of that tool this year. It's going to affect all staff in the coming years, and uh, we're learning lots as we go. But again, it's uh, our strong belief that we have the greatest staff in the world providing exemplary service, and we want to use this instrument to first recognize them for great work and then assist them in their growth goals. The second strategy in Goal 2 has been focusing on how we improve our employee induction process. That means once you take a job here at the ESD, we want to support your transition so it feels seamless to you and you feel comfortable on your first few days and few months of work. The third strategy of Goal 2 has been a focus on professional development. Although each of our programs do, does a great job of providing support to staff in their growth, We've not really done that as a whole ESD, and so for the first time last year, we focused on ESD-wide professional learning as we partnered with our friends in Partners in Leadership. You might think of that as the Oz Principle or the Results Pyramid. That was our first effort ever at providing professional learning and training and support to our staff agency-wide. We're doing the second uh, stage of that this year with Dancing with the Difference. Our partners are providing support to us in how we engage in courageous dialogue and how we begin to shift our belief about being a common organization. Our first belief being we are Capital Region ESD 113. Okay. While we had our usual head start and uh, fiscal reports, the other report of significance in this section of the board meeting was Cal Brody's year-end fiscal summary. He provided an overview of the financial health of the ESD, which you'll be glad to hear is quite good, and the summaries of various programs in terms of their fund balances and rates of use of our set-aside resources for grants and other projects. The ESD is in great financial shape. We have a goal for 2021, June 30th of 2021, to retire the bond for this building. We'll owe roughly $3.5 million at that time. So our desire is to set aside an, enough resources to pay off that bond early so that we can reduce space fees to our programs. The purpose for that goal is pretty obvious. If we can reduce the costs to our programs for space here in the building, we can provide more services to our region because we'll be saving money at the program level. Uh, we also have a change in the way we have to manage our reporting to the state for our year-end cash position uh, yet to be resolved. One of the issues that we're working on is the unfunded liability of the ESD for our staff who are in the state retirement pool. Uh, it looks like we'll have to uh, identify roughly $7.5 million for our employee portion of that unfunded aspect of the retirement system. So that's a change that we're still working through. We're trying to figure out how that works in terms of our financial statements. But I want to thank Cal and Keeley and the rest of the members of our fiscal team for the great work that they've done in providing a year-end fiscal summary, of providing a coherent report to our board, and the way that they've helped us manage our program resources well. Great job, Cal and team. 
Following the board reports, uh, the board spent some time having a conversation amongst themselves about how they can do a more effective job of listening to our region. We really don't know how we can gain direct access to board members at the school level, but we certainly want to. As our board members are elected by them, we want to represent their voice during our conversations and ensure that our region's needs are being addressed through the ESD. The board is going to be meeting with the Executive Advisory Committee, a small group of superintendents who meet once a month, uh, adjoining our regional superintendents meeting. At December, our board and that group will meet to discuss ESD services, the needs of districts, and how we can be more effective in providing supports uh, to our school districts. The board also reviewed the AESD Interlocal, which is the agreement that we use to govern how all nine ESDs work together in the state. This is a draft document that is directing the superintendents to work more collaboratively, to identify services that we share statewide, and to create some protocols for how we solve problems once the district requests come to us from outside of our regions. We'll be reviewing that at the AESD Executive Board meeting later this week with the hope for board action in December or January. That'll be the revision of a document that hasn't been renewed since 2004, so it's a fair amount of work for us. The board meeting concluded with a quick reflection on our attendance at the AESA, which is the National Association of Educational Service Agencies, and our upcoming meeting in New Orleans the first week of December. We talked a little bit about the upcoming WASDA board meeting and a, a number of learning opportunities that are available to our board and members of executive staff coming up. That concluded our meeting. Uh, our next meeting is scheduled for December 16th right here in the ESD. I wish you the very merriest of holiday seasons. I hope you have a great time with friends and family. You enjoy uh, some turkey during this Thanksgiving season and are looking forward to a wonderful time in the upcoming winter holidays. Wishing you all the very best.